Hey guys, in our last video we talked about mechanisms for driving linear motion and in this video we're going to be talking about mechanisms for supporting that linear motion. We're going to start off by talking about channel sliders. We offer the channel sliders in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Some versions will slide along one or two sides of the channel uh, and then we have larger versions that are going to encompass three and even four sides of the channel. Uh, the channel sliders come in pairs. They're manufactured out of acetyl plastic, so it's a, a very slick material that slides well on the aluminum channel. And they're sold in pairs because they're best used uh, when those two plates are held in parallel to one another. So it's a good idea to get some hub mounts or standoffs or something with tapped holes in each end in order to hold those a set distance away so that they slide up and down the channel very nice and smoothly. It's also worth mentioning that you're going to want to throw some 1.32 inch long standoffs on the inside of your channel, again, to keep the walls of the channel parallel. Um, that will also help these to slide as smooth as they possibly can. Next, we're going to talk about tube rollers. In a previous video, we talked about the aluminum tube roller as a drive mechanism for linear motion. It can also be used as a support mechanism along with the other tube rollers. Uh, we have a tube roller that will fit right on a quarter inch shaft that the shaft actually is a press fit and then you would support that shaft with a pair of bearings maybe running in the, the channel and then we also have a version that has bearings already pressed in so you can run a quarter inch shaft that's fixed to the chassis and then the tube roller will rotate on that fixed shaft. The parabolic shape of the tube rollers allows you to run it on various different sizes of tubing, whether that's aluminum like we have here, or PVC pipe, or steel pipe, um, or even a garden hose if you guys want to do some different profile other than just a, a straight shot. Um, and then the other nice thing about the tube rollers is if you mount them in the channel, um, you can run a one inch tube right through the middle and as you can see there's almost no slop on that so it, it holds the um, the chassis there very tightly and makes for a super low friction assembly. All right next we're going to talk about linear bearings. We offer a few different linear bearings. Um, this one here goes on a 12 mil shaft. It's a 21 mil OD. We have various clamps to go around the linear bearings that way you can attach channel or any other structure to it uh, the linear bearings have stainless ball bearings inside that actually cycle through the casing so there's almost no sliding everything's rolling inside it's super low friction and they're going to be very precise uh, they have very little slop side to side uh, we all also have a smaller variety that goes on an 8 mil shaft the od is 15 mil and we have clamps for 15 mil as well now in both the uh, 8 mil linear bearings and the 12 mil linear bearings we offer various different lengths so if you're doing something that's uh, very space limited you can get the shorter linear bearings if you want to have more stability you can go with the longer ones and finally we're going to talk about V wheels and our new mini V wheels the V wheels when used in conjunction with the X rail makes a nice support mechanism for a linear motion setup um, here we have the X rail and our standard V-wheels. Our standard V-wheels are held a set distance apart using the X-Rail V-wheel brackets. The brackets are required in order to hold the V-wheels a set distance apart so that the X-Rail will slide down through the V-wheels and there won't be any slop in between the wheel and the chamfer of the X-Rail. Now if you guys are using the 1010 series 8020 extrusion instead of our X-Rail, we also have brackets for that. For a more compact solution, we offer mini V-wheels, which are turned down to a diameter that will allow you to run it directly on the 1.5 inch Actobotics hub pattern. So you can see we have a channel plate here, or actually a, a pair of channel plates, that is holding uh, each of the four mini V-wheels a set distance apart to run right down the X-rail. Um, now on this version we have the two plates clatted together holding the bearings in between. Uh, if you want to make your own setup, we have the spacers that go inside of the mini V-wheels so that you can run those on any set of standoffs that you would like. So most of the time, besides just supporting linear motion, you're going to need to have some sort of mechanism to drive it as well. If you want to check out our previous video, we've put together a variety of different methods to do that. We'll put the link to it at the end of this video.